Hey Hawks, Miss Meline here. I am going to be sharing with you Destiny Quest, our library catalog. Destiny Quest has all of the books that we have at school online so you can see what is checked in so you can get them out of here or what is out so you can place a hold on them. The first thing you need to know is that Destiny Quest is site specific. You need to make sure that you are coming to Caesar Chavez Middle School's Destiny Quest. So if you Google CCMS Union City, you will get our school website. If you Google CCMS Media Center, you'll get the Media Center website. And on both of them, there is a link to Destiny Quest on the left-hand side. When you go into Destiny Quest, you can use it as a guest, which I am in right now, Cesar Chavez, guest. And you can quickly look up whatever it is that you're looking for. You can also search for the top 10 books that are most popular and most checked out at our school. You can quickly also see what Ms. Moline has already just placed um, on the shelves. Lots of skip beats for those graphic novel fans and bluish and endlessly undead. Um, but I want that book on dogs, so I can just talk dogs. I can't remember the title of it, so I'm just going to use part of the title or a subject in this case, dogs. You'll notice that a lot of these um, books are just showing blue covers, and that's because Destiny Quest is pretty new to our school. The more that it goes, the more that we use it, it will actually reach out into the internet and pull cover pictures and then place them with the um, right titles. So right now, it's still searching for these, I can see a lot of nonfiction stuff here, and I'll tell you how I can tell that in just a second. Ah, here's a good example. So you'll see, we get the title of the book right on the very top hand corn, right hand corner, it'll tell us it's here, it's at the Media Center, come and get it, or darn, it's checked out. In some cases, it may even say lost in the corner, which means it's lost somewhere in the Media Center, or somebody has it checked out for so long that the system thinks that it's lost. This one that's in, we could hover over it and it will give us a quick detail what the title is on the Lexile level. If your teacher is asking you to read in your Lexile range, this one happens to be 770. The year that it was published, how many pages there is. If I want to read more about this book, I can click on it. And generally, this one doesn't, I chose a bad example, but generally it'll also give you a description of the book. Um, the call number or where the book is located, the book's address in the media center is located right underneath always the picture. Right under the picture it tells you where it's located. In this case it's F for fiction, so it's in the fiction section on the shelf C-A-M for the author. It is checked in, that means it's on the shelf and I can go and grab it. Now if I wanted this book, darn A Dog's Life, it's checked out but I really really wanted it what I'm going to have to do is either tell Miss Feline, hey Miss Feline, can you put this book on hold for me? Or better yet, log in and do it yourself. You can log in simply by clicking the login button up here. You type in the beginning of your email address. Teacher email addresses look a little bit different. You don't have to use the at NHUSD, just the beginning. Your password, as always. And now it looks a little more, looks a little different, but it still does the same things. This just is my interface. This is what my page looks like. Shows you how many books I've read, what I'm reading now, which you know is not true because you know I'm reading something, and what I want to read. I just haven't drug any titles in here to tell it what I'm reading or what I want to read, which is something I can share later. But I wanted that book, A Dog's Life. Dogs, oh, 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 life. Where'd it go, where'd it go? It takes a little longer to search when we are logged in because it's not only searching the books we have in the library, but it's also searching vetted websites. That means websites that your teacher is going to love if you use um, for research because they are school appropriate, they are at your reading level, and um, they've been collected by teachers and professors and librarians so you know that they have good information. We also have one search, which is a database search, which I'll share later. And digital resources would be if we had, for example, ebooks or things like that, which we don't. But that's why it takes a little bit longer to do a search while you're logged in. There's that book I wanted, but it's checked out, darn it. If I click on it, now I have the ability to check this box that says hold it. 
when I click on hold it, it automatically says that I've placed a hold on this book today, February 14th. And when that book becomes available, I'm going to get an email that says, hey, come and pick up that book. It's ready for you. The book will only be held for five school days. So you need to make sure that once you place a hold on a book that you check your email often. So that in itself is a, a quick little um, overview of Destiny Quest and how it can be used. Again, to find anything, you can just type in um, a subject in the top. You can type in a subject, a title, an author's name if you have a favorite author. Um, maybe you want a, a book on reptiles. For example, I got lots of animals on the brain today. Um, if I get too many results, I got 315 books here that I could dig through. I could then narrow my search on the left hand side by subjects. It's suggesting maybe amphibians or snakes or dinosaur or fish or fossils or alligators. And then I can really narrow it down. Maybe there's 10 books on alligators here. You won't get this ask so many times as a student. This is because I'm a teacher and so I can see the whole entire district's um, library books. You, if it says ask for a student, that basically means that Miss mm, Valine's either hasn't put it out on the shelf yet or possibly that book um, is being held for somebody. So that's a couple of reasons why it may say ask or it could I could be fixing it too. So that's some reasons why. Um, so again, if you're looking for that book, type in your subject up at the top. Um, look for the call number. It's always underneath the book. In this case, it is an S book, which means it's Spanish. It's a 597.9, which tells me it's nonfiction. Um, and then the author's last name, ST. Book on the right hand, right hand side, The Rock and Reptiles. It's a fiction book, so it's in the fiction section on the shelf CA. So there you go. I think probably the most important thing is that you need to start at our school and choose Destiny Quest from our school. Don't just type in Destiny Quest and Google it because you'll end up at some school in Ohio and that won't help you at all to find a book at our school. So happy searching on Destiny Quest. Hope this was helpful to you. Look for other videos that um, that I will be uh, uploading here shortly that will show you um, other features that are on Destiny Quest.